guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we are doing live swatches. I am so excited. Have you guys missed live swatches? It's been a while since we last did live swatches, at least since Seamus. So I'm excited to get into it today. And of course we're doing ColourPop live swatches on the new lipsticks right here. So if you didn't know, ColourPop just launched brand new lipsticks and these are the blur formula. Now what that means, I have a little information card here, of course. The Velvet Blur is a unique matte lipstick that delivers rich color in a soft focus finish that lasts all day. So, you know, very blurred, very, almost makes me think of what Pat McGrath is doing recently. She's got a lot of velvety, blurry looking lips on her social media. It says you get the matte look with a velvety, soft, lightweight feel. Love that. The formula fills and smooths over fine lines, creating a blurred, perfected look. They are only $7 each, of course. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to buy the PR set. I know lately ColourPop's been really great at selling the PR packages because I think a lot of people like to collect them, and I do too. I keep, I have an entire wall full of ColourPop packages is over there which I need to stop being a hoarder and I need to throw them away, but I can't help it. I'm gonna try and move through this quickly or else it's gonna be a very long video and it's all the same formula, so there's not a lot to say. It's just more about the color that I wanna see. So if you guys are ready, I'm gonna remove this lip color and let's get started. By the way, this is the lip color that came in the BoxyCharm this month. It is Ofra's Miami Fever liquid lipstick, in case you were wondering. The very first color here is called Cream Fresh. Do any of you guys watch South Park? This shade made me <laughs> laugh so much because it reminds me of, I'm gonna sound so stupid saying this but cream fraiche I believe that's what it's called cream fraiche anyway Randy on South Park he gets obsessed with cooking cream fraiche I don't know <laughs> it made me laugh I'm a big South Park fan anyway oh my gosh it feels like it doesn't feel like lipstick it's very weird and I want to say now I think anyone who was a fan of the ultra blotted lips will really like this one it's what it's kind of reminding me of it's so smooth it doesn't feel thick it doesn't feel buttery I mean it feels buttery but it's like there's something different about it Wow, this is so silky. It is so thin. Like, if you didn't look at yourself, like, you have no idea that it's on. You cannot feel it. It's so thin. It's just amazing. Mmm. I love how this feels, you guys. I'm super excited about this formula. So, again, this is the shade Cream Fresh. The next shade is called Hey Mr. DJ. Oh, I love this. I love this shade. I'm sorry. What I'm noticing right away is they are super duper buildable. So down here, this is like a pretty opaque layer of it. You could definitely just do one quick application, which is what I'll do on my top lip. I think you'll have a more natural look if that's what you're going for. Do you see what I mean? Like the top lip just kind of looks like a tint. So here we have the shade Hey Mr. DJ. I love how bright it is. It's fun without being too loud. I think it really just brightens up your face. You just look happy and healthy with this kind of like grapefruity rose color. I'm a super fan of this color. The next shade is called Mesmerize. How beautiful is this color? I'm definitely mesmerized. It's just so cute. It's just such a cute blotted lip look. This one actually went on lighter than I was expecting, which I really like about it. Again, this is the shade Mesmerized. In the tube, I think it's gonna be a little bit darker. And then when you put it on the lips and it's kind of on your fleshy tone lips, it's not that dark and it's actually really pretty. The next shade we are trying is called Y2K. Oh, this is cute. It's kind of like a little berry shade. I love this formula, you guys. It makes me want to like take off my eyeshadow and my eyeliner and everything and just have like a very like dull type of look because it's such a natural finish on the lips. You don't need lip liner or anything crazy like that. And I think you could just get that really just beautiful, natural, almost like fashiony look where in magazines and on runways where they just have like blotted lip colors on and then, you know, really nothing else. It's just kind of that playfully sexy look. And I really love that. This color is just so wearable too. Again, you'll notice they look a lot darker than they're going on the lips. I love this shade. Again, this is Y2K. I think this is gorgeous. The next shade is called 21 Questions. I think that is such a cute little lipstick name. This looks a little more red, doesn't it? Ooh, it's got a little fire in there. Mmm, I love this color. This is blowing my skirt right up. This is giving me that whole popsicle lip look. I always tell you guys I love. But you know, in the summertime when you're eating like a giant red popsicle and your lips are like tinted and so cute after that. Is that dumb? I don't know, but it gives you a popsicle lip and I love that. I live for it. This again is 21 questions. I think it's super cute. Look at this one. This next shade is called K-Bop. I think what I'm loving the most about these so far is just like how much you don't need a lip liner with them. Of course, if you want to make it super bold and super just pronounced, you can use a lip liner and define it and make it not look so uh, blurry. But I really love the blurry, just like easy look they have. 
I just think it's fun. Ooh, that one is highly pigmented. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting any of them to have this much pigment or to be this bold. This is a loud, bright orange and I really, really love it. It's like so fun like any year. Like if you wanna make a statement but you don't wanna do the standard bright red, like throw on a bright orange. This is amazing. K-Bop, so cool. So just like juicy and delicious. Love it. Look at this color. I am so excited by this shade. This one is called Solo. It looks like a red, but it looks like there could be some juicy berry tones in there. Eee! I love makeup. <sighs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Home, um, control yourself, Shay. I love this color so much. So I did, again, I wanted to show you kind of the difference. This top up here is just a really light layer. Didn't double up or nothing. So it's kind of just gives you that pretty little stain. This down here is like a double layer. So you can kind of get the difference. I love this so much because when I first saw it, I was like, oh, it's going to be a bit of a red. But there's this juicy pink in there and it is so gorgeous. It's like delicious raspberry Kool-Aid. It is something so yummy. You know I love raspberry tones. And this is a mother raspberry, okay? Love it. Absolutely love it. This next shade is called Super Bloom. Look at this color. I cannot even contain myself right now. <sighs> center shade. Center. Center. Okay, let's get it. Oh, shit is so gorgeous. Bitch. My heart is thumping away. This is a beautiful, fiery, hot pink. I love this color. It is such a statement. Can't believe we didn't need a lip liner for it. Unbelievable. I'm so excited. I'm still keeping my eye out for a nice nude. Haven't seen one of those yet, but this is amazing. Love that they have this, living for it. Again, this is the shade Super Bloom, and it really is a Super Bloom, isn't it? Mm. Oh my gosh, look at this one. This one is called Ulti. All tea, all shade, honey. I just love this blotted look. I love it. So pigmented, right? I was really not expecting them to be this pigmented, but this is insane. This is really pretty. It's got a blue tone in it, but it's still bright. Oh, I love it. Again, this is the shade All Tea. The next shade we are trying is called Sphinx. How cute does this look? It doesn't look sexy. I'm excited by this one. Oh, this is cute. This is a cute pink. These feel so silky. I can't even describe it, you guys. I love this. This is such a baby doll lip like what I was talking about. It just looks yummy. It looks like it belongs on your lips. It's so smooth. Oh, so comfortable. I cannot wait for you guys to try these. Again, this is Sphinx. I love this color. Oh, this next shade is called Fake Love. Oh my gosh. And I have nothing but real love for this color. This looks amazing. You guys remember that song, Run Away Love, Run Away? I'm like the worst singer, sorry. Oh my goodness gracious. Mm, she a baddie, this is a bad girl's lip color. Mm, 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 mm. I love it. Mm -hmm. Can't get over how velvety and blurred these lip colors look. Mm, 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 mm. I love this color. I absolutely love fake love. This is no fake love over here, okay? This is a beautiful purple, pink, bright, fuchsia, Orchid, amazing lip. If you like a heavy impact, girl, this is for you. And I imagine as it wears, and it kind of wears off throughout the night, you're just left with this cute little subtle, just like tint, and I love that. So freaking awesome. Again, fake love, real love over here, but it's called fake love. By the way, just so you know, real quick, I am testing a concealer. No, 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 no. So if I look bad, that's why. Stay tuned for that video. That'll be up this week as well. The next shade name is Sorry, Not Sorry. This looks amazing. Ah, how ColourPop, how do you do it? I have no damn words. This is too cool. This is too cool. This is a bright, fun, amazing, eccentric purple. It's awesome. It's like between a purple, between a pink, between an orchid. God, this concealer is so bad. I'm so sorry about my face. Love this lip color though. Oh my goodness. Even though it's kind of like a bright purple, like I don't feel like it is. You know what I mean? I feel comfortable in it. I really like it. Again, this is the shade Sorry Not Sorry. Look at this color. Isn't this amazing? This one is called Alchemist. I am so very excited. Oh my God. This is amazing. Mm-hmm. 
See how you can sheer it out? I love that. You could have so much fun with this color. Not only, look how blurred it looks. It really does look velvet. I love those fashion-y and like editorial makeup looks where they blur out this type of lip. You could totally do that with this color. I so recommend Alchemist. I mean, you could do it with any shade you wanted, but I typically see berry tones like this where they like really concentrate it in the middle of the lip and then just kind of blur it out everywhere else and it looks so cool. So again, this is Alchemist. I love this. This is definitely in like my top five. The next shade is Vignette. I'm so excited for this one. I love how deep it looks, but as we've noticed with these lip swatches that they do not go on as deep as they look in the tube. Oh, but this one is a little deep, isn't it? This is gorgeous. I love this color. It feels kind of like old school sexy, like, like the 20s or like the 30s type of like flapper makeup to me. I don't know why, but there's a certain tone of it that just makes me think of like old times and it's super hot and I love this. Again, this is Vignette. It's super cute, super dark, super cute. My lips are a little stained. I'm sorry about that, you guys, but we are on the last shade. The last shade is called CA Love. I believe the CA is probably an abbreviation for California. So California Love. Oh, I love this one. Here we have CA Love. I think this is the perfect way to end this video. This is such a wearable, richer, a little deeper nude. I think this will look good on a lot of skin tones. Honestly, all of these shades will because there was nothing super light or super nude. Everything was just color, 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 which is what makes my heart absolutely sing. I love color. So these have been just a straight hit for me. I love how velvety and blurry they look. It is just really, really cool. Again, this is CA Love. I love this shade. You guys, what do you think of these? I really love them. I know I probably sound like a broken record and I'm sorry about that, but I love the formula. The formula is just beautiful and I love how much color there is. There is so much color in these lipsticks, so many different shades. Not necessarily the most unique shades. We've definitely seen a lot of these colors before, but I love having it in an alternative formula, something just a little different. And I think you could really play with it, have a lot of fun with it. You can shear them out. You can, you know, make them super opaque. Whatever you want to do, you can kind of do it with these. So I really am excited by these lipsticks. Let me know if you guys are going to pick up any shades. They are already launched. Actually, I believe they launched today. So definitely go check them out on ColourPop's website. They are only $7 each. If they're on the website when this video goes up, I will link them all down below for you guys. Thank you for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!